guys, welcome back. It's Shelby, and today we are painting a plain glass plate and making it into a beautiful little trinket tray for your jewelry or keys or really anything you want to put on it. Uh, we are using glass paint, the Vitrea 160 that I've used in a couple of my videos. You might have caught my painting wine glasses video or um, I did a teacup and then I've also done um, like a pitcher. So I will link those below in the description along with my socials, along with everything you need for this craft if you'd like to try it out yourself. Um, but basically these are dishwasher safe and um, I think kind of technically safe to like use on dishware and things you're going to use, but I'm not painting like, I don't know how many come in a set, 12? Is that like an old fashioned like formal set? Like let's say four. I'm not painting four identical dishes to make them like actual plates so I'm just gonna paint one and use it for my jewelry because why not so this stuff's awesome it's like really um, vibrant I have translucent but they also make um, opaque paint so basically just paint it on let it sit overnight and the next morning stick it in the oven turn it on to heat let it heat up with it cook and then cool off and then your projects done so it's super easy pretty low maintenance um, like I said, dishwasher friendly for the top shelf once you're all set. So if this ever gets dirty, just pop it in the dishwasher because it's a plate. One thing is because you're cooking it and this is glass paint that your dish needs to be glass. And I checked this one is actually a glass plate. It's um, kind of looks like ceramic, but it says it's glass, so it should be good. Basically something you can stick in the oven, like you don't want to do plastic because that's just going to melt everywhere, right? So don't use plastic, use glass. But yeah, I will link everything you need down in the description below. If you like the craft, let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing. I'd love to see you here again soon. And um, let's get going. I'm going to start with my red paint. And I have this ginormous fan brush that I'm going to be using just to kind of start my texture. Basically, you just need to really figure out how you want your plate to look beforehand because you can't really mix these paints and they're not super layerable because they are not opaque. They are very translucent so once the color's down that's your color there. So you can't really be like oh actually I want this yellow I'll just put yellow over the top of it. It's not going to mute out the red at all. You just have red there. So figure out your design beforehand. I'm going for I think kind of well, obviously little swipey swipes on the outside. I don't know the technical term for them, so we're going with swipey swipes. And then like polka dots in the middle and maybe some stripes along the edges. I think that could be cool. Here we go. And then basically wherever the paint's too thick, I'm just going back over it with the brush. I've only dipped it in the paint once because I don't want it to be a solid opaque line. I'm kind of using the brush as it's drying and getting rid of the paint to create that kind of bristled effect. I think that's cool. There we go. Next up I'm taking a smaller brush and my blue and I'm going to be making some polka dots. So you know how before I said that you can't really layer the color over it, the exception of that being when you're putting a very very dark color like this blue over the red that's going to show up, but you can't like go lighter. Like I do have a yellow and the yellow over the red is not going to conceal the red, but I can put like blue polka dots in the red, especially because I'm layering the blue on very thickly. Like these polka dots are pretty thick and have quite a bit of paint in them that can go over the red, no problem. So that's not an issue. It would just be if I want to like paint out the yellow. And I bet even if I did like these really thick polka dots in yellow that it would probably hold up okay. It might show a little bit orange like with, because the yellow is going to go translucent and have the red show through. It's not really going to mix to make an orange, but just as far as the hue showing through, it might do that. But um, that's only if it really dries down. But I think the polka dots would be okay. But I just can't like, you know how I swiped on the red? I can't do that with yellow and expect the yellow to cover the red. we go, just getting a little polka dot happy in here. There we go. So now I'm going to go in 
with a bit of yellow because I do want a bit of yellow in the center because that's going to tie it together on the outside. I'm not even going to bother trying to get it over the red because I really don't think it's going to work out that well. So just a few dots of bright yellow in the center. Just kind of set off that blue a little bit. I think blue and yellow look really good next to each other personally. And then I want it a little bit on the outside and I just kind of want stripes. So basically what I'm doing is length of the brush, just where the metal part hits. Just kind of putting it down like that. I'm trying to make them kind of equidistant. So basically this paint is like that kind of like gel icing. What you see is what you get. So if you blend it out really thin, kind of like here, let me get a stripe that's really thin to show you like that. That's what it's going to show. So if you want it to have a fair amount of color to it, it needs to have the color on it while it's drying. It's not going to get a whole lot darker. It's not going to get a whole lot more opaque. Um, basically, it's going to look exactly how it looks when it's on here. The exception being if um, like my polka dots are probably going to dry down and flatten a fair amount. They're not going to be super raised and bubbly the way they are now. Um, but that's basically it. Like the color is going to stay true like that right there where it's really thin is going to stay thin unless you go back over it with more paint. So the good thing about that is that you really can see what you're doing and what you are going to end up with while you're working with it. So it is helpful in that regard. Um, the only like non-helpful thing I guess would be if you want a very vibrant color and you're just not getting it. But the thing is, is that they sell different types of these paints, so you just want to make sure you get the right ones. I have the translucent ones, and I've been working with them on many projects over the years, and I actually really love the way it looks, especially on glassware of both clear and white. So that's my preference, but there's a lot of different ones, and you can definitely get the opaque ones. And as I go around, I realize my ending dots are much larger than my starting ones, so I'm just going to go back in here and make these a little bit more pronounced, get a little bit more paint on there. Have this well-loved, well-used, itty-bitty little brush. So I'm going to go in with my red again and just kind of get a little bit of that represented up here. So I'm thinking we'll just do it on the edge. I was going to do it in between each one of these, but then you run the risk of not having it on the same line. So I think if I just kind of nick it against the edge like this, then it's always at the top of the plate and they're all on the same line. And I think I did a pretty good job of getting my yellows kind of equidistant apart from each other. So that should look good and it should look relatively symmetric. It's not a super symmetric shape. Obviously my polka dots are not in like a diamond or a square pattern or any sort of grid at all. But I do like, even in non-symmetric things, something that's symmetric just for the eye to focus on because the human eye and brain kind of looks for symmetry and we like that and that's kind of what our brains, for the most part, not everybody is the same um, and not all objects are the same, but that's kind of what we view as pretty. So I want a little bit of symmetry in there. We're going to connect the red to the yellow. And we're going to go back the length of one stripe when we do it. And that way they all fit. Okay, so I just finished painting it. Let's see if I can do this without messing it up. That's what it looks like. Super pretty, festive, beautiful, really bright. I love how this turned out. So basically what you have to do now is just leave it alone to dry overnight. The paint is already probably pretty dry and tacky right now, but um, it'll dry in the next few hours and kind of harden up. And then tomorrow we will put it in the oven and see what we end up with.
Okay, brand new day and the plate has been, I guess, fired for lack of a better term. It's been baked and here it is. Isn't that cute? I love the pop of colors. I think this is absolutely adorable. So the backside is just still white. Little sticker turned yellow a little bit, so I gotta get that off. But um, otherwise, this is awesome. The paint where I put it on in the big dots is not perfectly smooth. Um, I doubt very much I'll be able to capture that on camera, but there's a little bit of texture to it. Um, the parts where I painted the red really thin, completely flat, can't even feel it. The blues can't feel. I can feel a little bit of the yellow, so it's not perfectly flat. There is still a little bit of texture to the paint, but I love these colors. The saturation is amazing, and they basically honestly just look completely true to how they paint on. You really don't lose or gain a whole lot of pigment when they're fired. Um, but I think this turned out great. I'm super happy with this. So I'm going to be adding this to my vanity as just like a little dish to put items on. So I'm really excited about this. If you like the craft or the video, go ahead and let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. I'd appreciate it. Or let me know what you think down in the comments. I do love hearing from you guys. Consider subscribing if you'd like to see more DIY tutorials and other fun videos with me. I'd love to see you here again. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.